In this video, we will look at factoring trinomials using a method called the AC method by grouping. The idea behind the AC method is that the middle term needs to be split into two different terms so that we can use grouping on the next step. The way we decide which terms to split it into is we draw this little cross and we multiply to AC where A is the first number and C is the last number. 3 times 6 is 18 and we have the 11 in the middle that we want to add to. We're looking for the pair of numbers that when we multiply them together, they equal 18 and when we add them together, we get 11. One way to multiply to 18 is 6 times 3. However, you will notice that when we add 6 and 3 together, they equal 9, not 11. Another option is 2 times 9. Notice 2 times 9 is 18 and 2 plus 9 is 11. Stick the variable on there and we're going to split the middle term up into 2x and 9x. We now have 3x squared plus the 2x plus the 9x plus 6 and then we have an expression we can factor by grouping. Grouping splits down the middle and on the left side, the GCF is x, leaving behind 3x plus 2 and on the right side, the GCF is 3, positive 3, leaving behind 3x plus 2. We have matching GCF's binomial factors of 3x plus 2 and the remaining factor is just x plus 3. We have now factored this expression. It is important to note that there is a shortcut we can use when the number in front of x squared is 1. If the number in front of x squared is not 1, the shortcut of using 2 and 9 in our factors does not work because there's no clear spot the 2 and 9 need to be put. There is no shortcut. We must go through the steps of splitting the middle term and factoring by grouping. Let's try another example to make sure we have this process down. In this problem, a times c is 8 times negative 15, which is negative 120. We want to add to negative 2. We might try a few combinations as we try to multiply to negative 120. It ends in a 0, so we might notice that 10 times 12 is 120 and if the 12 is negative, they will add to negative 2. We now know we need to split the middle term up into 10x and negative 12x using the variable on the middle term. We now have 8x squared plus 10x minus 12x minus 15. Factoring by grouping, we split the middle term and factor a 2x out of the left side, leaving behind 4x plus 5 and negative 3 out of the right side, leaving behind 4x plus 5. Notice we have the matching binomial 4x plus 5 and the other stuff 2x minus 3 becomes our remaining factor. Let's try one more problem where we factor using this AC method. In this problem, 10x squared minus 27x plus 5, a times c, 10 times 5 is 50 and we want to add to negative 27. 50 can be 5 times 10, but that won't give us 27. However, 25 times 2 will if they're both negative. We'll split the middle term then into negative 25x and negative 2x. We now have 10x squared minus 25x minus 2x plus 5. Splitting after the second term, the GCF on the left is 5x leaving behind 2x minus 5. On the right side, using the sign, we have negative 1 for a GCF leaving behind 2x minus 5. We see the matching binomial GCF of 2x minus 5 and then 5x minus 1 becomes our remaining factor.